Hello everyone, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So last time we created this uh, global parameter to control the wetness of the world. And today, like this, today I am going to show you how to control the wind level of the our world with a single parameter like this so here if i set this to 5 this the whole world starts to act like it is uh, in wind and if i set this to 0 uh, all the leaves start stop moving so like no wind if i set it to 1 small wind 3 some more wind 5 some more wind 10 some more and 0 like this okay so let's get started right so this is my previous project and here we created this material function called mf global and this one and we have only this rain level for now and I'm going to integrate this uh, wind element, wind controller into this mLeaves master because uh, we don't need to implement wind in any of the static objects like rocks. It should be visible only on these leaves. So, and I have already created this wind simulation like this with using this simple grass wind, but this is limited to this uh, material only so I am going to implement this in our global material function here so first thing is in this MP global I am going to add a new scalar parameter like this and I will call it wind intensity and I'll set default value to 1 right and now in my MF global I'll add a simple grass wind node like this I'll come in this out rain so it's clear right now for this wind intensity I'll create a new input sorry function input scalar and I'll call this wind multiplier And I'll create some more parameters for wind weight and additional WPO. And I'll connect them like this okay so now I'll take a reference to our color parameter collection MP global and select this wind intensity right now I'm going to multiply this one with the wind multiplier the reason to do this multiplication is that I may need to define based on the type of the leaf the amount that leaf is affected by the wind for example if it is something like grass it should react to wind very easily and if it is something like uh, some desert tree with hard leaves or something like a palmyra tree or something then the reaction to the wind should be minimum 
if it is with hard leaves so that is the reason I have defined the, this wind multiplier right now I'll apply this and I'll go here so this as you can see this MF global function has this some more parameters so I'll delete this one we don't need this anymore and I forgot to add output for the wind so I'll add output like this no function output and I'll call this wind and apply okay so now here we have this wind output and I'll plug it here so we got this couple of errors and we can fix it I'll call this wind multi Player instead of wind intensity and I'll set the default para value to 1 and plug it here and for the wind weight I'll the reason I plugged into this uh, specular parameter is like this should be a scalar and I got some variation with this specular map like dark in the branch roots and in the leaves it is white so I'll get some variation along this based on those values I guess <clears throat> actually I haven't studied what happens in those variables in detail but I think um, something like that should happen okay so I'll have apply this and let's go back to our world to see what happens okay it is compiling and one more thing so this is uh, this landscape material is also compiling that's because we have used this mf global function in our landscape as well but for the landscape or for any other two materials we don't have to use this wind output so we can just leave it here and since we are not using it anything related to that calculation would not take place so I don't think there will be any performance issues just because we have used the same material function right let's wait until this is compiled okay the shader is compiled now now let's open our material parameter collection and see what happens as we change the intensity of the wind first zero okay no wind and five yes we have wind ten some more wind twenty some crazy wind right I'll put it to calm little breeze okay so as I promised I have showed you how to yes as you can see this whole world wind is changing according to this single parameter so we have one more step completed towards our dynamic weather system today and that's for all today and see you in the next episode in the next episode I will show you um, actually I haven't decided yet I think I will show you how to change the sky color or how to drive these parameters dynamically with the blueprint uh, something like that okay see you in the next video goodbye